Right guys, welcome back to the channel here. In today's video, I will show you something special here. Because I was lucky enough to have the good people at Boss and Roland sent out this wonderful GC1000 core here. And this is something that I have been wanting to test out and try for quite a while. So we are going to get to it in a couple of videos here. And in this video, I wanted to take you through how you install the driver for the DG1000 core, as well as downloading the um, Tone Studio so you can manage your patches, you can create live sets, you can also import patches that you found on the internet and basically just make the overall user experience better. So first of all, I've headed to the BOSS webpage here. And if we type in the GT1000 core and we make a search for it, you will see that we get to the dedicated page here. And if we click on the downloads tab here, you'll see that we get a section of updates and drivers. And first of all, there's a core system program, which is the update. Uh, there is the tone studio for the GT1000 here, and as well as the driver for Windows and Mac. A funny thing is that the manual mentions that you have to download and install the driver before you connect anything to your computer. But when I go in and download this driver file here, there is actually no installation or driver file in that particular folder. There's only a readme. And in that readme, it tells me that the first time I connect my GT1000 core to the computer, Windows 10 will automatically recognize and install the driver. So that should be the first point here. So what do you need in order to install the driver? Well, you need to have set up your GT1 in your working area like I have here. We need to set up and connect the power supply to it here. And in order to just make it function, so we'll do that. And you can see that it lights up and it will just turn on like it automatically would. Next thing that you will need is a USB cable here. And you will need a standard USB-A to micro USB-B cable here. And this is to make the connection and to install the driver. So we're going to take the small micro USB-B here and we're going to insert that on the side here. Just like that. And we'll take the other part of the cable here and run it to our computer or our USB hub on your desk or whatever you might have here. So I'll just plug it in over here. And we should be able to have something happening here. So let's see. As it states in the, the manual, the driver should be automatically installed here. So let's see that within a few minutes, maybe, if the actual driver will be installed here. So we'll just give it a minute and see what happens. All right, guys. So I've just been waiting here for a few minutes. And as far as I can see, I didn't have any notification pop up here to see if the driver was actually installed. So we're going to try something different. We're going to go to the control panel. I'm going to go to the hardware and sound and go to the first section up here. And in here, you'll be able to see all your drivers. And when I got in here, um, I can see that the GT1000 is actually here under the units here. And I believe if the driver is still being updated or being installed, it will be right down here at the bottom under something called not being specified or something like that. But if it's up here under your units, you will see all your available units which are working with your computer. And as I can see here, I have the GT1000. So this means that the driver is now well installed without any problems. I assume that on your computer and your system, you will be able to get a notification pop up here on somewhere which of the sides of your screen saying that the driver is now configured and ready for use. But if you do not, then do make sure to go into your control panel, into your drivers and check the status 
of the driver installation, but we're good here. Okay, so we can go from here back into the boss page and we can go away from the driver page. We can go back now and find the tone studio. And in this case, I will find the bus tone studio for Windows. And we're gonna enter that driver tab. And once again, you have your update history and what boxes the box they did fix and etc. And if you scroll down to the last part, you have to agree and you have to download the file here. So once the file will download and once it finishes, you should be able to head into your folder and wherever it stores that you should be able to unpack it here. And once you enter the folder, you'll see the Tone Studio installer. So we're going to run that in order to get the installation going here. I'm going to select English and you decide where you want to put the program. And we're going to install it. So once this is installed, you should be able to load up Boss Tone Studio and you should be able to create and adjust your patches. So right now we're just going to let it launch and we're going to see what happens here. So it should recognize the unit and it should open up the program for us to store, adjust and import and export patches. So let's see here. At least something is happening on the screen. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. It will just have to load up and load the different patches and the different settings. And okay, it has just done that. So you can see here, you have your selection of patches out here. You have your whole signal chain. You have your parameters, depending on which of the effect blocks that you are clicking on. And yeah, this is the, the basic overview of uh, the tone studio here and you have your patches to scroll through over here um user and presets so that's a nice clear clear navigation of which is which and um, as well as your tuner tone central librarian editor whether how you're going to do this and yeah you have your amps you have your effects going before you have your effects going after as well as a set of extra dividers, extra mixers. And at last you have your master, you have your sub outputs, you have your main outputs and um, anything you basically need to specify and adjust your parameters here. You have your send and returns over here as well. So the overall navigation here. This basically means that we're ready to connect our headphones or guitar and we are ready to tweak away on patches and have a quick playthrough. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope your installation of the driver will just run smoothly without any problems. Um, as of right now, this is set up to work on my computer and it seems to be working just fine. In a set up a future videos, I will make sure to incorporate some playing samples. We will take a look at the Tone Studio app and I will tell you a little bit about the configurations and the output selects and what you have to choose in order to get things set up properly. So this will be it for now guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for your constant support. I hope you found this helpful and useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to assist and be happy to help you out. And once again, a huge thanks to Boss and Roland, and especially Hans, who was kind enough to send out his own specimen of the GG1000 core here. So have a good day, guys. I will see you in the next video.